trying anything homemade is either gonna be the best thing you've ever stumbled across or the worst thing that could ever happen to you. It's like four pound odd for a diddy little bag. Oh, it's like slime. I'm not gonna lie, it just smells like I've got crushed up Weetabix in here. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. I hope you're all doing really well. In today's video, I am so excited for today's video. It's something that I read upon and I just immediately knew that I wanted to give it a go. Of course, I am talking about the DIY Olaplex hair treatment that has been coined the Kardashians' favorite at home hair treatment that gives them that all famous, slick, shiny, incredible, amazing hair. Of course, the Olaplex DIY did start off on TikTok. However, recently it did appear on Kourtney Kardashian's Poosh website. And so I just immediately knew that I wanted to give it a go. For those of you that haven't experienced the amazingness that Olaplex offers, it is a at home treatment that most salons use as well. And it comes in a fairly small bottle, very expensive in my eyes i think it's 26 pounds and it's just a really incredible at home treatment that gives you really thick oh amazing strengthened hair and a bit of a shine as well however looking at all of the kardashians hair amazing absolutely jealous i'm not gonna lie it does look as if it could potentially be from a keratin treatment maybe i should try that next because i know amazon does sell keratin treatments but since this popped up, I really wanted to give it a go. However, I am slightly changing the recipe because there is one product in there that is not available in the UK, I believe. And I didn't want to skew the results, you know? I didn't want my amazing hair to come out and it be all down to the serum that they use in the recipe. So, the DIY Olaplex treatment contains just two ingredients. One of them is water and the other one is flax seeds. Flax seeds, I'm not gonna lie, is expensive as well. I mean, it's like four pound odd for a diddy little bag. I have already made up the, the treatment because it is one hell of a recipe. You have to boil it, you have to strain it. I did not have a professional cheese cloth to drain it, so I just used one of Amelia's muslin cloths. <laughs> It worked very well though, I'm not going to lie. And don't worry, I've put that in the bin now. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my hair down. My hair is definitely in need of a wash so first off i'm just going to brush my hair it doesn't mention anywhere how you're meant to put this in your hair it doesn't mention whether you should put it on dry hair or wet hair or wash your hair first and then put it in so i am just going to apply it on dry i guess dirty hair and then wash it out after. It says to leave it in for just 10 minutes because this is definitely not a mask that I would want to leave on overnight. And because I want to apply it evenly, I'm gonna take half of my hair and pop it up. I am quite nervous about this. I'm not going to lie. Trying anything homemade is either gonna be the best thing you've ever stumbled across or the worst thing that could ever happen to you so we're risking it today i'm also going to be sectioning my hair so if i focus on one side first then i know my hair is going to be completely covered and i'm going to do from root to tip i'm just going to do the whole entire thing because it doesn't mention anywhere the best way to apply it honestly <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to be able to apply this. It's definitely not going to be by a brush. I have a feeling I'm going to have to use my bare hands because I do not have any gloves. I'm just going to cover myself with a little towel because I do not want to get this 
anywhere. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea where to start. Like, it won't separate. It's just all together. I don't wanna touch it. Oh, it's like slime. Like, look at this. <laughs> it's like I've made some slime. Okay, oh my God, that's gross. It's like slipping off my hands. I'm not gonna lie, it just smells like I've got crushed up wheat bix in here. So luckily for me, my hair is very fine right now, so it's not actually gonna take too long for me to do the whole entire <laughs> of my hair. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I am doing this. What has the internet done to me? I'm gonna leave it on for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna wash it off to hopefully reveal the most beautiful, gorgeous looking hair that I've ever had. You guys, what? Why did this work? I am beyond shocked. I, my hair looks good. Excuse all of the baby hairs that are coming through. My postpartum hair loss is finally clawing its way back with all of the new hair growth. I've just done my usual routine of just plain boring shampoo and conditioner and I've blow dried it and straightened it and I, I look at this hair oh my goodness I've not put in any serums or oils or anything yet because I thought I would definitely need it but oh my goodness for starters my hair feels absolutely amazing now i wouldn't say it's added any thickness my hair is still really really uh, fine it's really thin but oh my god i just like you can definitely see i i i'm getting too excited i don't know you guys i i did bin the rest of the fake overplex but i'm I'm considering in making this again. I just can't get over how soft and shiny my hair looks and feels. Is it just me? Am I imagining this shine? It just looks incredible. So that is my first impressions, final thoughts on the Kardashian at home DIY Olaplex treatment. I cannot get over how good my hair looks, how good it feels. Oh, I feel like I've just revived it somehow. Comment down below if you've given this a go yourself. What are your thoughts? Are you now going to try it? Is it just in my head that my hair now looks incredible? I cannot get, I cannot get over how soft my hair feels. But yeah, I am really impressed with, with the results. I'm actually kind of glad that I did this video because in desperate measures, maybe I'm just gonna whack out the flaxseed. I now have a whole bag left anyway. Probably wasn't gonna use it elsewhere, so why not use it into a DIY Olaplex hair treatment? I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you don't already and you've been loving my videos, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when my next video is coming out, and I will see you in the next one.